we have some more problems here, and you know, we're trying to see actually how we could engage these concepts that we learned so far to the real world, all right? So I have some situations here that you might think could be some situations in the real world, and we will be engaging our learning of transversal triangles and perpendicular lines, all right? So, so this is what I'm going to do, all right? I'm going to assign this group actually to some problems and prioritize that when you are done, because we will be presenting as well, um, just continue working, all right? So, How far you have worked on that problems? I assigned you a page in each group. C as angle C. So if you call it, if you name that vertex C um, using three uh, letters, so what would be its name? Right, Carmen. All right, from your group right there. Um, Awit, would like to help? A. Uh, is it ABC? 
Where are we supposed to put the vertex of the, the angle? That one is angle A, right? That one angle B. I'm talking about angle C right there, the one that you call angle C. So, Louis said that we are not allowed to do that because there's other angle right there, angle 1, that could be using the same vertex. So if you're going to call that one right there to be ang uh, that angle, the interior angle, so what must be its name? BCA or ACB. So C must be in the in the middle. I. Yeah. Alright, we're make a little correction, okay? Uh, for um the reason for um number five. Honestly, we didn't know how to do um, this. Um that's a triangle sum theorem right there, so measure of angle BCA class. I don't know, Mr. Right. I don't know. Okay. Can somebody in your group um, step up and help? Um, how about, can you help her? No, no, no. Right there for the, you know, the um, blank in number four. Uh, Yeah. Right. the measures, right? Yeah. Yeah, Somebody the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. Thank you, Alex. <laughs>